Soldiers from Fort Drum drive their Humvees up a steep slope onto a ridge line close to the Pakistan border. Soldiers say insurgents stage in Pakistan and come across the border at will. They, they use that border because they know we're not going to go in there because it's too political. So they have pretty much pretty good freedom of movement across that border. That's what we're trying to stop. The patrol settles in for lunch. It will stay for long enough until the Taliban try to attack them. It's the best way, soldiers say, to destroy the insurgents. For us to get them to attack us, we got to make it look like they've got the upper hand, that they can conduct a successful attack. So we'll go sit on one of these hilltops out here and stay and wait on them. Suddenly, the That's patrol gets word that the Taliban are massing and about to attack. More than likely, I have a feeling you're going to hit up from the front because greason has got a ridge line right to the front of his truck. Yeah. They can't assault up this side. They can't do a frontal and they can't come up that way. If they, they could, but it'd be suicide. The soldiers call in airstrikes of Apache helicopters, which zero in on the Taliban positions. Several Taliban are killed and others are hiding in a cave, which the helicopters also hit. If they're like just crawled in there to, you know, like in, inside a crevice to hide, chances of survival zero. You're, you're not going to live through that. Just to be sure, the soldiers also call in a B-1 bomber strike and get off the ridge line before the bombs drop. After the Taliban or Arab fighters fail to attack the American forces, it's likely they'll simply fall back toward the Pakistan border, regroup and try it all over again. Near forward operating base Burmel, Doug Grindle for CBS 5 News.